Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I'm actually just north of Dallas in Addison, a nice little suburb north of Dallas. I want to talk about something relatively quickly. I've been called in to remove, well, let me back up here for a moment. My customer tried to remove the stickers, the decals off this paint. Well, they removed the stickers, they got the decals off, they used the heat gun and then tried to get the, t the, the vinyl off, that was fine. But now they've got all the glue residue that they've got to get off this vehicle and that's why I've been called in. They were having a hard time removing it and there's a reason for it and I want to go into it here in a second. I want to show you this project I'm working on. So this is the door I have to take care of. There used to be a little badge number, a little ID number, like a car number that was on this fender well. I've removed that. I'm in the process of removing this. Then if we walk around here, hopefully the lighting's good. I've got, see, I've got it. This is how they tried to remove it, and they couldn't get it off. They just kept making it worse. They spent about 45 minutes doing this. I have a product that will remove that quickly. It's also on the back of this bumper. It says www.kidscare therapy.com this is a customer of mine that I maintain their vehicles for and they put stickers on the side of their cars to advertise their business they take care of disabled children now this is the side of the car that used to have what was on the other side completely removed and I used a couple of different things and I want to show you how I did it I still want to polish this I'm gonna do like a one-step correction on this just to polish this door there was also an ID number on the fender well that's removed as well. But the whole reason I wanted to make this video is if you're doing vinyl graphic removal and you're called in, sorry for being shaky, I'm gonna to try to set you guys down and get a good view of this door. Holy crap, so sorry guys. But I wanna talk about something. If you're called to do vinyl graphic removal, and your customer has told you they have attempted to take the vinyl off, that's fine, that's cool, you can still deal with the moment. But it's far easier for me, when the vinyl is already on there, to be able to remove the vinyl and also the glue, the adhesive behind it. I'm gonna have some residue left over and that's fine. My Citra will take that residue right off pretty quickly. My issue I'm having here today is that this was a two-part vinyl sticker. They took off the big part, like you've got this S here, and then you've got this black line that's on the outside of the S. That's also vinyl as well. It was like a two-piece sticker here on the C as well. I'll come down here where my finger is a little bit more relevant. But you can see that it says therapy. But this is a two-part sticker. That black line is actually part of the vinyl. It's now making it a little bit more problematic for me. Not an issue, I can still deal with it. But if you get a customer that calls you and says, hey, I've attempted to take the vinyl off, ask them to take, send you a picture so you can see exactly what you're working with. If you see a black line around the lettering from when they remove the vinyl, you know that there's still some vinyl here. And why does this become an issue? Well, if this black vinyl line was not there, if I would have been able to remove all of this at once, meaning I would have removed the vinyl using my 3M eraser wheel, which I'll get, sorry guys, if this was all, if this said therapy, it was intact with the vinyl lettering and I was called out for the first moment and nobody touched it yet, I could take all that vinyl off and the adhesive, I'd still have residue left behind, that's fine, Citro will take it off. But now when I'm fighting, and this is where the moment comes in and I had to discuss this with my customer. Because I want to get the glue residue, residue off and my citral or rapid remover isn't going to remove vinyl tape, I have to come in here and remove this vinyl. What it's doing, and I'll show you when I do it, watch how it starts, see the, see the issue that starts to come up and then I want to explain why it's happening and how to solve it. But watch when I start going in here, I'll take this A off here. And again, it's got sticky residue all over the place, but I gotta get this vinyl off. Now watch. So now what's happened is you can see I removed all the vinyl, but unfortunately it's sticking to the glue residue that's here. Some of you might be saying, why don't you remove the glue residue first and then use your 3M eraser wheel? Well, it's a good point. It's really, 
you can go one way or the other. But in this particular case, because I still have that vinyl that now I've broken down with my 3M eraser wheel, but it's stuck. It's now all sticky within the residue of the glue or the adhesive. My Citril will still break down that vinyl, but the 3M eraser wheel, you kind of want to break up that vinyl so it's in smaller pieces so that the Citril can break it down. So it'll look something like this. I'm just going to put my Citril on a microfiber rag and then just come in here and lightly go over that vinyl and that glue area and just slowly pick up that leftover debris the leftover vinyl that black vinyl that's now stuck in the glue residue this to me is the easiest way to be able to do this it's it's still going to slow you down a little bit it's a little problematic because it would have been nicer to remove the vinyl and the adhesive all at one shot but I don't have that opportunity now because I wasn't here from the minute they tried to remove it. They're calling me in after the fact. So I just wanted to go over that. If you're doing vinyl graphic removal and a customer says, hey, I attempted to take it off, you want to see how far they've gone. You want to see if that particular vinyl tape actually had an outline of vinyl as well because then you know the problems you might be coming into. This moment here, removing it off this door, the other door, the two little numbers on the fender well and on the rear, Folks, I charge about $300 to do it. It's going to be about a two-hour moment. I've already done the other side of the door and the numbers on the side. That took about a half hour. This is going to be a half hour moment. Then the back bumper is another half hour. Then I got to polish. So all together, I don't know, two, two and a half hours, and it's a $300 moment. This is a great way if you're an auto detailer to be able to provide different services that make you more relevant to more people. I just wanted to go over this simple little fact that if you have sticky glue residue that's left behind, that's cool, we can get it off. But if you still got vinyl around it, it makes it a little problematic because it would have been easier to be able to remove all of it in one piece. But I wasn't here from the, the first moment, so now I've got to kind of play Monday morning quarterback and try to figure my way through it. I just wanted to share that with you, a little project that I'm doing this morning. I've got some other customers i got to take care of this afternoon. But vinyl graphic removal, it's not all that difficult. It's profitable. You can get some amazing results with very little tools. The 3M eraser wheel, a good glue adhesive remover like Citral or Rapid Remover. It's just another great way to provide more services, stand out amongst the crowd, stand out amongst your competition. I actually take care of these vehicles on a monthly basis. The kids are transported in them, so I take care of them on the inside. I take care of the vehicle on the inside, just maintain it for them, make, make sure it's clean on a monthly basis. They have about 11 of these vehicles. But I just wanted to show you, they attempted to do it on their own. They wanted to save a little bit of money, but then they realized, oh crap, we can't do it. Call Scott in to do it. So here I am saving the day, and it's beautiful. I love it. But they're great customers of mine, so I don't mind doing it. Again, I love all you guys. Hopefully that helps you out. Until next time, love one another.